Let's see this question from gate 2022 afternoon session. So it says a sewage treatment plant receives sewage at a flow rate of 5000 meter cube per day. The total suspended solids concentration in the sewage at the inlet of primary clarifier is 200 milligrams per liter. So we can draw it a little bit. So we have for this sewage treatment plant, we have the primary sedimentation tank and at the inlet the sewage flow rate is 5000 meter cube per day and in that total suspended solids or tss concentration at the inlet it says it is 200 milligram per liter now we can find out the total solids at inlet so total solids we can say it will be 5000 times 10 to the power 3 liter per day times 200 into 10 to the power minus 6 kg per liter so this liter will cancel out and 10 to the power minus 6 here it will also cancel out so we so we are getting the total solids concentration as 1000 kilogram per day so this is the total solids concentration then it says after the primary treatment the tss concentration in the sewage is reduced by 60 percent so the supernatant that will go out from here the remaining solids concentration in this will be 0.4 times 1000 kg per day or 400 kg per day that will be the solids concentration in the supernatant but further it says the sludge from the primary clarifier contains 2% solid concentration so here at the bottom of this tank there will be some sludge deposition and it says that this sludge has 2% solids concentration and after that it says subsequently the sludge is subjected to gravity thickening process to achieve a solids concentration of 6% so here we have this gravity thickening and after that the solids concentration is 6% then it says assume that the density of sludge after thickening here at this point after thickening it is 1000 kg per meter cube this is the density of sludge then the daily volume of thickened sludge in meter cube per day will be so we have to find the daily volume of sludge in meter cube per day so so far we have understood what is happening and here as we calculated the total solids concentration that is 1000 and out of this 1000 400 kg per day is going in the supernatant so it will be going for further treatment we can say secondary treatment and for the remaining part here after the here in the sludge from primary sedimentation tank it has 2% solids so 2% solids will mean first of all that total solids 400 kg per day is going outside for further treatment so the remaining out of 1000 that is 60% or 600 kg per day it will come in this sludge so in the sludge the total solids concentration 600 kg per day now from here we can find out the total sludge because the sludge will also have water so total sludge we can find using this 2% solids so as they have mentioned that the sludge has 2% solids so total sludge we can find as 600 by its percentage so whatever solids percentage is there that is 2% so 0 0.02 or 2 by 100 we can write so from here we find out the total sludge weight or total sludge mass as 30,000 kg per day so this total sludge mass is there before the gravity thickening now we will go to the next step that is the gravity thickening and keep in mind that we are interested in finding the sludge volume after the gravity thickening so first of all it says that after this gravity thickening the sludge the solid concentration in sludge is six percent so we know the amount of solid or the mass of solid that is 600 kg per day this is not going to change whatever change will happen in the volume of sludge it will happen because of the reduction in moisture content so from here using the again same total solids total solids that is 600 
kg per day that will not change this is after gravity thickening now in this condition after gravity thickening the total weight of sludge or total mass of sludge it will become so the mass of solids divided by its percentage that is 6% now so 0 0.06 for that so from here we get total mass of sludge as 10,000 kg per day so after thickening now we have the total mass of sludge and also we know the density of sludge that is 1000 kg per meter cube so we can find out the volume so volume we can find as the mass divided by density so 10,000 this is in kg per day and divided by its density that is 1000 kg per meter cube so from here we get the volume of sludge as 10 meter cube per day so in the question they had asked the daily volume of thickened sludge in meter cube per day so that's what we have calculated here the volume of sludge in meter cube per day or the daily volume of sludge we can say so basically in this question it is important to understand what is happening so drawing a line diagram is important here and basic understanding of how the treatment works so we know that we have this primary sedimentation tank and in this we'll have some sludge generation the some solids will be removed so we from there we are finding that in this sludge part we have two percent solids and then it goes for further treatment of gravity gravity thickening and in that part the solid concentration increases it becomes six percent and we know the solid concentration that is 600 kg per day and this does not change because whatever volume change will happen it will happen due to the change in moisture or the water content so using this basic idea remaining things are given so we can solve this kind of question